Hello, hello. Today we're going to be making another tart. Surprise, surprise. You know I love tarts, so this is not really a surprise at all. So let's dive in and get started on this Nutella tart. So when it comes to the tart crust, you need to roll it out, but first you need to form this into a disc. It makes the process so much easier. Simply place the dough on your work surface, flatten it out, and shape it with your hands a little bit into a round disc, and then you're ready to roll. So let's talk about rolling this. When you roll the dough, you want to roll it in the middle third and turn and rotate about a quarter turn every time. This helps to keep the dough in a round shape. Now the other thing we want to do is we lift it so that it doesn't stick to the work surface. If you have any little bubbles like that, just pop them with a knife. So once you roll this out, we're ready to go. Now, you may notice that your dough is a little too soft to put in the tart pan. This is the case. Place it onto a pan and put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes. Now you can see that I can move the dough really easy and I'm not worried about it tearing. And you'll be able to see here, I can handle this dough with ease. In fact, I'm gonna move it a few times in the pan because it's not centered the way I like it. If this dough is too warm and too soft, it would just tear as soon as I moved it. Next tip. Press the dough into the pan. This is really important. Don't just press along the bottom. Press the dough into the corners and along the sides so that the dough is not being stretched. We want it to sit in there nice and comfortably so that it's relaxed. If it's too tight when you bake it, the dough will try to shrink in more. So this is really important. Take your time and get the dough pressed into the pan. The next tip is to trim the dough, but the tip here is to hold the knife flat against the edge of the pan. Don't hold it at an angle or you will cut into the dough along the border. You want to just cut right along the pan so that you have this nice clean border. Next tip is to prick the dough. We do this so that no air pockets form during baking. Even though we have a liner in this, we still want to do this to make sure. Now after you do this, freeze it and now we are ready to make a parchment paper sling. Go ahead and cut your piece of parchment just slightly bigger than the tart, about an inch on every side. It does not have to be exact. Next, you're going to fold this, and I'm doing this in a little bit of a sped up version here just so you don't have to watch it too slow. Go ahead and cut along the edge of that parchment paper just so it's rounded. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You can see mine, it's not. I wanted to show you it does not need to be perfect. So then once you've cut it, go ahead and make about one inch slits in the paper, unfold, and then this is going to fit into your tart shell beautifully. Next, add your pie weights and then you are ready to bake. Uh, once the pie weights are in, make sure you press them up against the edges of the tart crust so that the tart crust stays in place during baking. The tart's gonna bake for 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're going to remove the pie weights and the liner. We wanna do this so then we can bake the tart another five to 10 minutes so that it's nice and golden brown. Now you'll see in my tart crust that the edges are lightly golden, but the interior is not. So we wanna bake this longer until it is nice and baked and set and it will hold up well against the pastry cream. Next up, let's talk about the pastry cream. Now, a lot of people wonder, what should my pastry cream look like when it's finished? So this is before it has been cooked. You can see it's just very liquid and fluid. Once we cook it, it's going to look more like this. It's going to be very thick. And this happens because we have eggs and cornstarch that thicken it. Once the pastry cream is done, pass it through a fine mesh strainer. Do this to make sure that it's super smooth and creamy and that no possible egg bits got in there and scrambled. Then we're going to cover this with plastic wrap. Now, don't do it like this. You wanna actually place the plastic wrap directly onto the pastry cream so a skin doesn't form. Press it down along the corners and on top, and then you can go in and put a piece of plastic wrap on top just to make sure that it's fully sealed and place it in the refrigerator for three hours. When you chill the pastry cream, it's going to thicken up and set. You can see as I begin to whisk this that it's very thick. It needs to be whisked so it's nice and creamy and smooth again. Next, add the Nutella and whisk into the pastry cream. This part's really easy. You just simply need to whisk until it's combined. Then you're going to whip some heavy cream and fold this into the pastry cream. This essentially lightens the pastry cream so it's not so heavy and thick.
Here I have my cool tart crust. I'm adding some chopped hazelnuts. You can toast them or leave them raw. Either way is just fine, but we wanna add these to the bottom of the tart crust followed by the Nutella pastry cream. Now once you add the pastry cream, you want to spread this out so it's nice and even. I like to use an offset spatula. It's definitely easier than using a mixing spatula to spread out. You may have a little excess that you need to wipe away so it's nice and even, but that's okay. Just make sure that the Nutella pastry cream sits just below the edge of the tart crust. Once the pastry cream is finished, Place this in a covered container in the refrigerator for one to two hours and then we can add the ganache. Almost to the very end, this tart is pretty easy. I hope you are feeling that as you're watching this. So what we're going to do next is make the ganache. Go ahead and pour the heavy cream over the chocolate and Nutella. Let it sit for a couple of minutes and then whisk until it's smooth and creamy. This is going to be really silky and beautiful. Now you can add this to the tart in one of two ways. You can pour it on after about 10 minutes when it's thin, or you can let it thicken up like this and then spread it onto the tart. I like to do it a little bit thicker so that it has more texture to it, but this is completely preference and up to you. The very last step is to add some toasted hazelnuts around the edge. Now you can do this however you want. If you want to sprinkle them all over, that's fine. I just like to make a little border because I think it's beautiful. So this is the finished result. Pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours and then it is ready to eat.